In this video we're going to be tying a little fly called the No Name Damsel. First thing we're going to do is just start our thread. And I've burned a couple little mono eyes out of 16 pound monofilament. We're just going to tie these in on top of the shank of the hook about an eye's length away from the eye of the hook. I'm just going to use some X kind of wraps to secure these into place. And you can make these the natural color like I did or you can make them black either way is just fine. Then I'm going to take my thread all the way back to the, the bend of the hook. We're going to tie in a tail. It is about the length of the hook, maybe slightly longer. We're going to tie this in right at the right at the back. And I can just kind of wrap that marabou forward. Then I can secure it. Now the next thing to do is to tie in the rib, which is either some 3 or 4x clear monofilament. I'm just going to wrap that all the way back to the back. Now the next thing to do is to take some olive marabou. I'm going to strip off most of the fibers near the base so I'm just left with kind of the even tips. I'm just going to draw these tips all together. I'm going to tie it in by the very tip of all this marabou and I'm going to take my thread forward. I'm going to stop about a quarter of the way from the the eye. I'm just going to twist this marabou together what that's going to do is create a little marabou rope. Then all I'm going to do is just take that marabou very carefully. I'm just going to take it and wrap it forward. You can see how it makes a very nice tapered body once I do that. And once I get to that one quarter point, I'm just going to stop. Now the next point, I'm just going to take half of the clump of marabou that I have for the tail. I'm going to pull it over the top of the fly, try to separate everything. Then I'm going to take my monofilament here. I'm just going to get it started. I'm going to segment the top of the fly with this monofilament, spiraling it forward until I get to that 25% where my thread is. Once I get there, I'm just going to pull that brown marabou back, pull the mono forward. I'm going to tie off that monofilament. Once you get a few tight wraps in there, you can trim it out of the way. Now you can lick your fingers to kind of get that brown marabou to hang back out of the way. In the next part, we are going to dub a head. For the head, I'm just going to use some damsel green SLF dubbing.
and for the head of this fly, you want it to be pretty pronounced. Damsel flies have a pretty large head compared to their bodies. I'm just kind of go around those eyes a couple of times. I prefer to build it up just a little bit at a time rather than slapping it all on there at once. It allows me to make the head a lot more even. There we go. Once we have the head formed, I'm just going to take my thread to right in front of the eye. And I'm going to pull that remaining portion of brown marabou right over the head. I'm going to capture it. Then I'm going to fold that little piece forward or back once more. And I'll take some more wraps right on it and it'll kind of stick up just like a little, little mohawk. You can whip finish, trim out any extra fibers if you have them. And that is essentially the no name damsel. Pretty simple little pattern. Very, very effective on trout and still water, grass carp, common carp, small largemouth bass, but great little damsel fly. You can find all the materials for this fly on our website, inleriffle.com. If you're watching this via YouTube, below the video in the description, there is a link to our website. There you can find all the recipe information as well as the materials to tie the fly. And that is the no name damsel.